Welcome back to Loop Hero. We're gonna jump in. Save file is this one. I have one that's just like a practice save file. What do we got going on? We failed twice in a row. If you guys watched the video on my main channel, we lost the first one and then we lost the second one. Just broke Bumbo, reduced the ads more of a tile, mana cost times suit and blah, 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 stuff to stuff. Item, congrats. Cost two to add more P, infinite money. Dope. All right, what do we got? We just added Chrono Crystals, which is a, let's see here. Crystals that are able to refract not only the light of the rising sun, but the passage of dawn itself. Doubles the effect of days passing on adjacent tiles. That kind of sounds like crap. Let's not do them. And go. All right. Who here has never even seen this game before? Has no idea what's going on. You want some advice for the game? With this type of game, I say sure. But I have the uh, absolute right not to listen. All right, so. It's a loop hero. This is our loop. We basically, we've forgotten what the world is around us. And by fighting all these enemies, which spawn every day, which is a day meter on the top left. You see this right here, day progress. As we fight the enemies, we gain these cards. The cards are like mountains, meadows, and some of them are like uh, cemeteries where enemies spawn. So we'll craft the world, and by crafting the world, we actually make it more difficult on ourselves, but give us, it, it helps us uh, collect loot. Uh, the meadows actually help us heal every day. The mountains give us max HP when we place them. Um, there's tons, tons of stuff going on. So we're just going to constantly loop. Every time we loop, uh, the enemies get harder. As you can see in the top right, there's loop enemy level. We got our first rock. I know a little bit about the game, so I'm going to wait to place the rock. Morgan, thanks for the 1,100 bits. Appreciate you. Eldemar, seven months. Welcome back. Fajita Taylor, 500 bits. Bought bits just to tell you that I love the video on this. Bought the game after, and it's one of the best games I've ever played. And I played a lot of games. Awesome. We got a grove. We should place the grove. So I can uh, right click to go from planning phase to adventure phase. You see that up here. So I'm going to stop and actually place my dirk. I got a slot for a weapon, a slot for a ring, shield, and then armor. These ones are grayed out. I think we unlock them later. Let's place the grove down. So the grove spawns a rat wolf every two days. Battlefield. I'm gonna put the battlefield there. Battlefield spawns a chest every, uh... Oh, you know what? I shouldn't have put it there because I could get a blood path. We should have made a blood path maybe down here. Chest every loop. I'm gonna do two times speed here. I set the speed manually. They must have done the update and removed that. I had set to a custom speed that I liked, but oh well. So the combat happens automatically. It just goes. And you have to buff your guy with the equipment that you have. And let's see here. So like right now, this specific weapon gives me plus four attack speed, 0.6 regeneration per second, uh, and a evasion, a chance to dodge attacks 4%. And you can see the total stats down here. Oh, well, you can't see it, but. That's where that is. Um, what else? Max HP 90, damage to all two, defense two, evasion 4%. Let's put that on. Right now, my goal is to try to loop as many times as I can and get a lot of materials. We're uh, kind of stockpiling rocks, so I'm just gonna maybe put some of these down. Try to make a mountain. I could've waited for a treasure, but so, plus 5 HP for each adjacent rock or mountain to the mountains and rocks. So, we've got a bunch of max HP there. Strike, 3 total. Love you, Huts. Always love to catch your stream. Welcome back, my friend. Got another 
rock. This oblivion card, it removes something. So if I want to get rid of maybe enemies in the road, maybe a tile that I put down, we can use that. I'm going to definitely save it for later. I'm going to make a 3x3. Three three. Seal Mari with 10,000 bits! Absolutely amazing. Absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much. See you, Mari. I hope you're doing good. I am. I'm feeling pretty good. Thank you for that. Feeling even better now. Hat time. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. So, out in a loop as many times as possible. That means I need to strike a balance between creating enemies for me to fight to get loot back and um, making it so that I can last more loops without fighting too many enemies that are too strong, namely the boss. Road Lantern. Really, really good. Decreases the maximum number of monsters on adjacent tiles. So, if I load this corner here up with a bunch of tiles that spawn enemies... If I also load it up with road lanterns, it's, it'll, it'll decrease the amount, the maximum spawn of that area. If that makes any sense whatsoever. So each tile can have up to like five enemies, I think. But let's say that I surrounded this area with three road lanterns. Then you can only have a maximum number of two enemies there. It makes it a lot easier on me. Beacon. 40% movement speed within its range and everything gains a 20% attack boost. So... I don't want to buff my enemies, but I do actually want to make parts of the loop faster for me to walk through. The faster I can walk through the loop, the more we can loop and, and without the days spawning because the days are really what determine how many enemies I fight, right? All right, let's make this mountain. All right, so three by three of mountains and rocks makes a mountain peak. Gives me a plus 120 max HP. Uh, five additional HP for every adjacent mountain rock, blah, blah, blah. Spawns a harpy every two days. So the harpies are going to be attacking us now, but hopefully with the extra health, we'll be able to handle it. All right, that's a mimic chest. So we got our first chest spawning from the battlefield. It was a flipping mimic. If I place this rock down now, boink, we summon this goblin camp. That's actually a really good spot for the goblin camp. I was going to oblivion the goblin camp, but if we can handle the goblin camp with road lanterns, that would be the way to go. Goblins are actually a really difficult early game. In my opinion, we got our first ring. Damage to all two, attack speed plus 8%, regen 1.2. That's pretty good. And then this, armor, max HP plus 256. A little up arrow next to it means it's better than the one we have, but you can see the one we have right above it. Vampirism, 9% health back on attacks. I really like the vampirism stat. I think it's probably one of the strongest things. I'm going to actually save my meadows for a uh, treasure. Super retro looking, yeah, and sounding. Another beacon. So like I said, I don't want to place this where I'm going to place enemies. I do want to try to cover as much of the loop as I can. That's not... <clears throat> that doesn't have enemy spawners on it. And you know what? Actually putting the beacons by your cozy camp, which is where the boss spawns, is a great idea because the boss does not get the 20% boost. Cool. Good talk. I know I'm just throwing things at you, but the only important thing right now is that the combat happens automatically. I need to make sure that I pay attention to the, the equipment here. You guys can help me do that if I get like a shield that's like level 5 and I'm using a level 1 shield. No matter what the stats are on it, it's going to be better. Um, and I need to place my cards down here appropriately. Another road lantern. Definitely, I'm just going to put that like right on the goblin camp. Maybe there. There? Or there? Getting a ton of road lanterns. We're, we're lucky right now to have two of them. Also, Siomari, if you said something extra in the chat and I'm not paying attention, I do apologize. Let's expand our grove. Hats, you missed a tinted shield. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. So, th this equipment here, 
<clears throat> here's the thing. We're stacking up the resources to go back and build our base camp. We want to get a lot of resources right now. And if we don't put on our equipment up here, it'll start to like, the, the next one that adds in, it'll kick out one in the back and that'll go to scrap metal. And that'll be really good to obviously stack up for equipment. If I don't use these cards down here, they give me some special resource called memories. So if we could just stack these up, it'll start doing the same thing where it'll kick them out, but I, I, I don't really want to kick out my Oblivion. So, probably will be spending all my cards until those are gone. You missed the legendary 1% shield. I did see a better shield too, but once again, one shield is not going to make a difference for me right now. Every 10 mountain or rock I put down, we spawn a goblin camp. So we're going to end up spawning another one. Who doesn't like Shovel Knight? You know, I've never played Shovel Knight. I watched a full Let's Play of it, though. Tier 2 sub, sexy tier 2, 3 months, bloody panda. How's it going? How's it hanging? It's hanging. Here's the goblin camp. Look at those boys. Look at how quick that attack is. I'm on times 2 speed, of course, but... Is this giving anyone anxiety? I'll put it back to times one speed. Vampire Mansion. Spawns vampires to battles that happen on adjacent tiles. We could just load them up in there. And I might. Vampires ain't got shit. They ain't that, that bad. But here's the thing right now. We're losing a lot of health. So I could hold off on the Vampire Mansion. Can you change cards around? No, that would be really cool if you could. I love seeing some text through water bottle, lol. I mean, it is kind of perfect, isn't it? You guys want to see? Huts. What's your stats? Wait, which one? Dam damage to all? Level four, sh yeah, level four shield. 14 defense versus three. Good catch, good catch. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna place this down. I'm gonna go hard. We can escape at any point in time. If we die, we keep a third of what we, we gained so far. If we end up running away from camp, we end up saving two thirds. If we escape when we're at camp, we save everything. Evasion and vampirism, 7%. Yeah, it gives us 7% evasion on top of our vampirism. A little less vampirism, but that's fine. And magic damage 2, or 7 rather. Ah, uh, nah. There's magic damage that does more damage to certain people, and I don't really remember what, but... Another vampire mansion. We should maybe just start spanning these meadows. Of waiting for a treasure. If we place the meadows next to other things, they turn into blooming meadows, and blooming meadows actually heals us for three at the start of each day instead of two. So blooming meadows, meadows rather, are better. Never understood what magic damage does. There's certain enemies I think that take a lot less damage. I think the skeletons they have a shield and they take a lot less damage normally, but the magic damage goes through the shield. I think maybe. Back to full health, we heal every time we walk through camp. 30%. There's our harpy. A spawn from our mountain that we put down. Level four, what is this? Counter plus 12%. I like my attack speed and regen. So, no. Level three attack of this. Um, we're losing attack speed 4%, evasion 4, regen 0.6 for a hell of a lot more damage. Let's do it. You can see the numbers that pop up every time uh, around the enemies. Cemetery, let's throw that down. The goblin needs to stop. 16 plus regen on our shield.
You can oblivion the middle mountain and you can keep getting resources from it. Yes. I can oblivion the middle and then put another mountain back, right? Got two treasuries now. I'm like waiting for the treasuries to come. Ah, oh, we're not getting any. Oh, I'll just start doing the thing. If we surround the treasury with eight squares of something, be it meadows or mountains and rocks, or even these things, if we put it next to the road, we'd have to put some road lanterns and vampire mansions and battlefields next to it. Then we will unlock the resources within the treasury. The treasury will also then start spawning gargoyles. And the gargoyles, they, they don't have shit. So we're going to do that. Or I've seen a strategy where you actually wait on the treasuries. You surround it with seven tiles. And then on a later loop, you then activate it when you need it. And you get that higher loop level tier loot from it. So the longer you wait, the higher tier loot you get. I don't want to spoil anything, but the best place to stock up on monsters is the campfire if you want to fight the lich because his buffs always spawn there, and if you have something else, they won't spawn. Got it. I think I'm already settled here. Uh, this is just going to be for loot, I guess. I'm probably not going to fight the boss unless something goes really, really right. Because I got the lantern set up here already. Put the rocks in the corners. Because then the meadows can still bloom on the sides. The meadows can't bloom on the corners of the treasury. All I ask is that you guys be patient and ask questions. Attack speed plus 12. We're losing our regen. I kind of like the regen. Vampirism plus 6. Damage to all counter. No. Defense from 16 to 9. Not going to do it. Mighty fine beacons. Look at that. We've almost had this whole half of the map sped up. Any point in time that we feel like we're going to lose a, a not a, in the middle of a valley, we can't do this. But if we're walking into a battle that we're going to lose, we could remove the enemies with oblivion or we could get rid of like the goblin camp, for example. Because those guys are douches. Generally speaking, it stacks up to four goblins and it gets overwhelming, but there's two road lanterns next to it. So that's pretty good. I'm going to save this spot here for a blood path. If I can get a second battlefield that will spawn this corner into a blood path, they'll start spawning blood clots. Can you bring back weapons and armor? No, you can't. Which seems silly. Seems like you totally should be able to do that. Not impressed with anything we're getting here. Is Loop Hero worth getting? Kilmari says. Um, I like it. I'm having fun with it. I, it probably will, for me, though, be a, a game that I beat and stop playing. But it is addicting. It's it's good enough that you're, like, sitting there, you know, doing something else, and you're like, I kind of want to get back into Loop Hero. I kind of want to go back to it. When am I going to be able to play that next? All right, we need some more... Uh, Road lanterns, please. We just picked up a spider cocoon. Spiders, they can get really out of hand. Regen or attack speed. If we're going vampirism, attack speed would be better. I'm not really going vampirism, though. Regen could totally be good. Got yeah, the spider cocoon in here. To an area that's already going to be hand blasted with enemies because of the uh, road lanterns, but. Put it there. Put it there, son. We're already losing. I think we've already stacked it up too strong on ourselves. Went too strong, too quick. We just unlocked this treasure.
I'm gonna give hints, but there's a bit of spoilers of things you'd unlock. Well, that, that would be a time not to give that hint. Sounds like a hint that would not benefit me currently. Vampirism plus 10%. What if we went for vampirism then? They're doing lots of damage, like 20 and 8 and 7 per hit, and I'm only getting 5 back per hit on Vampirism. Got our second goblin camp, and you know what? I'm going to oblivion it. I don't want it. I think we're going to end up uh, ending pretty quickly here. I don't even want more enemies. I don't want to place these blood groves and cemeteries and stuff. We could make a, make a hungry grove if we wanted to. We could place a blood grove here. And then oblivion the grove. And it makes a hungry grove. Which is just going to make things more difficult on me. <laughs> Occasionally attacks the hero for 20 damage. Devours enemies that have less than 20% HP. So now I just take this random damage from the hungry grove. <laughs> Pretty cool, Huts. Wow. Have fun dying. Hear about the Twitch China credit score? Nope. Good time for a road lantern. Now we're only having one enemy here per square, it looks like. But you're saying there's a chance. Vampirism plus 16%. We need the health back. the hell back what's this more damage things looking grim you should get out of this loop lol no I'm fine go back to one speed there we go look at me I got almost all my health back plus our road lanterns are kicking in I've never felt better Can't have two mountains, by the way. Battlefield. Blood path. Not only ghosts are created on the battlefield, spawns a blood clot every four days. You do another blood grove. Right? there. I'm gonna maybe save that spot for a lantern. There's so many beacons. I wish it gave you a counter of how many mountains you had up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. At 30, we spawn our, another goblin camp. There's no 3x3 three three meadows, no. So that guy gets really unmanageable when he has um, a bunch of dudes around him. Counter and damage to all. Is that worth giving up my 7% vampirism? It's level 3 to level 6, but max HP ain't shit. Regening HP is the shit. Oxtail chicken, thanks for the seven months. Oh, Seal Mario, I'm sorry I missed your tier three sub. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sexy, amazing tier three sub. Vampirism 16 down to nine, but we have 9% evasion and two defense. Still no. More damage. Like in the attack speed one. Like I said, attack speed mixed with vampirism. Good, good combo. We're barely, barely hanging on to our health right now. But we are.
We are, we are. The youth of the nation. We're losing it. It's a ghost! Ah! Ghosts can spawn the battlefield. Uh, it says... Enemies on adjacent tiles can become ghosts. How many mountains is that now? One, two, three, four, five... 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Maybe we'll hold off there for a little bit. Vampirism Blade. Gotta do it. Yeah, we might die. Let's not die for a third time, huh? I don't want to die. The goal is to fill the world? As soon as we've built enough, you see this little lich meter here? Once we've built... So if I place another thing down, this will... Watch, if I place this down, I got a little bit higher. Once that reaches max, the boss spawns, you fight the boss, it's over. So we can't fill the world, at least on this first expedition. Oh, we're getting totally screwed over by the freaking vines, bro. I don't think we're going to make it past these spiders. We leave it two thirds or we, we go for it. You keep playing after the boss. Okay. Well, that's cool. Run! Leave a two-thirds. Go for it, Zelki. Believe. I believe, Dad. Get him! Ah! No! We made it through! We're so close! That's three losses in a row. Pots, you're already better than at, at, at this than me. How? Roar and tiny roar. Roar, tiny roar. Thanks for the five months. Welcome back. That sounds like my spirits are crushed just because my spirits are crushed. Okay, get out of here, Blood Grove. Nobody likes you. Spider Cocoon, no one needed you anyways. Go. Miller time is now 16 months. Yo. Welcome back. I don't think I'm going to be able to fight the Lich. I'm not going to go for a Lich run right now. Um, because it's a rogue light. We need to build up permanent upgrades by building shit at our base first. So let's like do that first. Maybe. Missed four months because I've been so busy. That's all right. I've been busy too. Like if you put on the armor that give you plus 200 HP immediately, it would give you the HP. That could have been a play. It could have been a play too to just keep myself alive. Vampire Mansion. What do we got here? Grinding seems necessary, yes. Blood groves are good with groves near them. Blood groves can only be placed next to a grove. So, unless you were joking. Remove cemetery? That's an idea. Go for another blood path. Go for maybe a blood path over here. Go on blood path first. I want to get a treasure before I spend all this, but we could just throw it down, honestly. Let her rip. Let 
You have a shield. I'm Chad. I can see things. Ah. How's everyone feel about the new Pokemon games coming out? Vampirism like a moth to flame. At least I can smell. All I smell is the lemon lime goodness of a nice crisp Sprite. Vampirism seems so much better than like evasion, but if we could get our evasion up to 50%, then yeah, that would be pretty good. There's my flipping treasure right when I can't put it there! Treasure! Bow, 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 bow. That's what you really are. You're my shining star. Treasure. Those are not the lyrics. Battlefield. Blood Path. Cemetery. High defense seems like the best strat against the boss. Bacon. Go for the mountain. We're gonna spawn a goblin. Yeah, once again though, if, if they're gonna put the goblins around my road lanterns, then they're stupid. They're gonna spawn here though. Shoot, that's not where my thing is. Well darn tootin'. Bacon. The vampire mansion. Egg Nabbit. More road lanterns. Wonderful. Loot me now. Vampirism sword. Yeah. Uh, vampirism ring. Yeah. Vampirism armor. Yeah. Counter shield. Oh. I might keep the magic damage seven against this skeleton. I'm in a bit spang wangler. It's finally getting warm over in Pennsylvania. So excited for spring. Yeah, it was like 60 degrees today here, and I had all the windows open for multiple hours. Yes, I know. You should be impressed. Oh my god, that's you. The window's open. Take me. What's our vampirism at? 23% with three items? You'd think it'd be a little higher than that, but whatever. Yeah. Seven, six, and ten. What is that? Just a lot more damage. Let's go with it. We're gonna have to somehow take care of this goblin hut thing. That's crazy. Still below freezing here in northern Maine. Sucks to be main. Soundtrack is so good. It's pretty good, yeah. Well, yeah. Alright, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Rocks and mountains. Oh, there's a blood clot from the blood path. 
doing a number on us. Oh, that was a ghost and a ghost of a ghost and a super ghost. And a mimic. Oh my god. This game is not happy about me being alive right now. Give me some of that bacon. That's 17, 18, 19. We'll stop there. Treasure. Fourteen's worth. Stupid blood clots. Stupid me with my advanced tactics and making really difficult things for myself. Stupid game giving me nothing but rocks. I wanted, I was like, man, we're just gonna grind away for a bunch of cool stuff. And then here I am like, I'm leaving. I can't live. A Nazar Trajer. A Road Lantern. Put it there, yes. This is good. It's gonna totally bung me up with a goblin camp on the way right side of the map if I put another rock down. What I wanna do is wait for an oblivion to come by. Start placing some mountains in just oblivion, the goblin camp, the second one. We have better vamp ring here. I'll take it. Why am I like this? You can't get loot if you don't fight things. That's the big thing here. You gotta keep fighting shit. Go for an all evasion build. What are you, a nerd? Did someone pay you to say that? You sponsored by Big Evasion? More groves. I don't want your groves, though. This place is grove. There's a grove there because I don't think it spawns anything because of the road lantern limit, right? Maybe I'm an idiot. One more road lantern would be great. What do we got? Regen 1.8. Is that better than 6% vampirism? I'm going to say yes. What's this? 7 to 25 regen counter damage. I think counter is pretty good for vampirism. It says counter when I when I get a good counter in. There we go. Road lantern. That's pretty good. We're only fighting one of these little goblins. We can start placing mountains again. And then we can oblivion that camp. Treasure, bimp, 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 that's what you really are. Got rid of my vamp jacket. Did it look like it gave me filled max health? It almost seems like it didn't give me max health filled. It almost seems like it didn't, though. Evade these attacks like I evade taxes. You and I are not so different, you know. Vamp. Yeah, see we're getting like one and eight and nine back. It's not a whole lot. With the dogs, we were getting just as much back as they were attacking. So like that was worth How many mountains do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We want to place just as many as we possibly can for the max health. We don't want to overdo it for goblin camps. That shield is pog. What about this eight? 31 to 47 damage on one of these suckers. Let's try it out. Oh, this was seven. I didn't even see this. Damage to all seven with the 24 and 36. So is it plus seven then when it says damage to all? Is that then, uh, you know, 31 to 43? On the original target? Probably. Thoughts, I'm finally here. What's up, Boost? Does seven to the others? It says all. So you'd think that it would also apply that to the original 24 to 36 original target. So that might even be better. But seven really isn't going to do anything. We should just kill one target faster. Get him dead, especially if we have vamp. Do we want... No, we don't want to really have a... The blood path is there, but... Do we want more blood path? We could just put this over here. So we get like a chest from it. When we start the loop. Better to get the chest early. Because let's say that we put the battlefield. That spawns a chest at the end of the loop. You'd get the loot. Finish the loop. The loop level would increase. And your gear is already one loop level behind. Smart. That's... Smart! Smart! But we're going to die anyway, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> it was hard, man. We heal at the end of every day. Don't, don't forget about that. I got an entire vampire mansion by killing one vampire. Where was he hiding that mansion? Might just be me, but I'd love it if your face cam was lowered. It would let me read what the text behind you says. Yeah, but it, uh, I don't have a second... Uh, I don't have a second Twitch thing. That. Set up. Three B Twitch. Low. What with that? What if I went like that, and then I went... Things I do for Twitch chat. Better? We're not gonna see everything, but you know what? Suck it up! Damn it! So much stuff in the screen to really have everything be visible. Handle them. Come on. Vamp! So much better, thank you. This is weird, but cool, I guess, is PK this game. Alright, we're getting to a point where we're pretty much maxed out here. I don't feel like any beacons are necessary. I guess I could just throw beacons, like, over here for, like, fun. Does it do anything? No. <laughs> Woo, that was fun! We got 17 back. Alright, we're starting to push out cards here, and we're collecting these memory fragments. I think we're gonna die if we do another loop. If you look at the map, there's really like one enemy per square, and that should be super handleable. Besides the fact that the squares within this ring of the vampires are getting extra vampires, so it's gonna be pretty much two enemies per square. Vampires might push me over the limit and kill me. We just we have to do better. Attack speed plus twenty percent is that better than vampirism eight percent? More attacks. More health back. Go. That was pretty quick. That was some pretty quick, uh, pretty quick action there. Ladies. 700 vampire mansions that I'm not using.
If we get Mimics too, we're gonna be in trouble. What did we pull? A bunch of junk. We're not getting higher level gear. Could've made a blood path, I just don't want to make more blood clots currently. Is it a better vamp? No. It's the worst vamp. Vamp plus attack speed. Probably like the best armor I've ever seen. It's less damage on that, but we do gain regen. Look at me vamp my way back up to number one. 31 defense over 18 defense, eight vampirism. I think I got to switch it out, but I just, we're kind of reliant on the vampirism here. Attack speed 20% for over 10 damage cut. No. I said nay. Probably gonna spend all the meadows that I get. Instead of going for memory fragments with them. Since I get oblivion, I'll put more mountains down. Oh, I could have stuck my uh, beacon over here in the middle of nowhere and then surrounded it by meadows. That would have been a good play. Boss! Ooh, shit, you're right. I shouldn't build anything if I want to keep looping. No more building. The Rapier. Vampires in 15%, yes. Good eye, Brian. Good eye. All right. Literally cannot build a single thing. Attack speed caps due to stamina. Oh, is that what that gray bar is? I'm liking the vamp build right now. Look at us go. Give me some oblivion, please. First time today ever seen the ghost of a ghost of a ghost. So that guy turned into a ghost when he died, right? The ghost has a chance to turn into another ghost, which is called the ghost of a ghost. It's this bigger, badder ghost. Oh, God dang, I got a road lantern I want to use. Um, and then the ghost of the ghost died, and it turned into some sort of ghost of the ghost of the ghost of the ghost, sir. 5.4 regen. That sounds crazy good. I got to try it. Oblivion, please. Watch my, my health regen right there in the top right. Regen build now. Oblivion, 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 please. Level 10, evasion 21, nope. Decent vamp rings, but I'm liking the regen 5. Right, if I end up kicking out this road lantern, I'm going to be pissed. Another battlefield, too. Watch me whip, watch me nay nay. Going for the boss? No, not yet at least. If we can stay on top of this so we can get even better gear. Then might as well wait.
Another road lantern. Attack speed plus 20% for a 9 reduction in defense. I think we're doing fine without it. Level 9 armor. Attack speed plus. Minus 12 vampirism, though. This is 12 to 8 vampirism. Attack speed plus 8. Plus 12 evasion. We'll try it out. Instantly dies. Doesn't even get hit by anybody. Just, like, trips on a rock in the road and just passes... Uh, more vamp gear! 14% vamp plus regen or attack speed evasion L regen, man. Vamp regen build. You can't touch my health. Cool. How's everybody? I'm pretty good. Thanks for asking, Molo. How's Molo? Okay, we're getting definitely harmed. Harm is still befalling on my head. Harm is raining on my head. Why are there so many enemies? What happened to my road lantern plays? What happened to my oblivion? Oblivion. Looking at you, douche. This is our last loop. We're not gonna make it past another loop. Loop level 9, we made it. 37 defense, go. There's my oblivion. What would I obliviate? Well, if this is our last loop, then I don't really know if it matters. Would I destroy 10 shield? Well, I got the 11. The goblins? I mean, I'm not going to go around again for it to matter, right? So. But yeah, sure. Is that road lantern down? With that there, I might be able to keep looping, to be honest. If I'm gonna be honest, we might be able to keep going. <laughs> Tarek, what's up? Prime sub. I always overextend. Don't be greedy, man. Oblivion lowers the boss gauge, yes. That's why I built again. Another Oblivion. You son of a bitch. Oh, I should have Obliviated first. All right, well, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just leave right before. Right? Yeah. Retreat. Little, little sneaky, little sneaky thing that you can do. If you want to uh, check it out. Can't see your face. I got you. Another success. You've returned and we still remember you. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's good to be back, but I'd hardly call it a success. My old memories of the world are gone. The path is empty again and there's only darkness everywhere I look. Interesting. So technically you remember that there are things you have forgotten. We should find a way to use that. Let's talk about something more positive. We managed to tidy this place up. Time for the next step. What do you have in mind? Expanding the camp. We have all sorts of craftsmen from cooks to an alchemist, but they all need a place to work. We can't use the materials from around here. You turn away for a second from a branch or a stone you just found and pff, gone. I'm afraid only you can solve this problem. The materials that survived your trip always look suitable for building. But these are just stones and splinters. How can you build something with them? You imagine like... 
he's walking back with like a ton of rocks and sticks and like just an an unimaginable amount of bullshit materials and he gets back he's like why would you want to use those well why did you carry them you dunce why were you bringing them back if i wasn't going to build with them curious eh? i noticed that with the fire you've made the things you obtain somehow infect everything similar with stability only in small amounts but it's still something even a small branch is enough to make a wooden wall exist without constant supervision i can build things We want refuge, herbalist hut, smithy, gymnasium. So this will give me the rogue class. This will unlock the ability to gain special traits after killing monsters. Unlocks the village. Herbalist hut starts with potions. The potions are super weak though. Smithy unlocks the ability to craft tools for the camp and lets me start with basic warrior's gear. Go for village, special traits. Smithy. Jim, Smithy and potions are pogged. Smithy. By the anvil of the seven seas, it's a small forge. Yo ho ho, you have no idea how I've missed the heat of a furnace and a smell of metal. We'll have some good tools now, you can be sure of it, lad. You'll even be able to use something during those trips of yours quite enthusiastic. Something tells me you're not a stranger to seamanship. Or is that a gay joke, son? Shiver me, shiver me hammers. How did you know? It doesn't matter, though. You're right. Don't worry. I'll prove to you that these are hands that can hold a hammer as good as they can hold a helm in a storm. And for a dozen days in a row, if needed. You guys like his little up arrow beard that he's got going on? Village is nice for longevity and runs. Yes, they are. No, I can't. You should go for the smithy. It's a good one. No, I can't build anything else. Okay, yeah. Nice. What am I looking for? There we go. Didn't even unlock anything. What should we do? Oh, I can't get rid of cemeteries. I need at least two cards here. Minimum, maximum. It says here in the top and bottom. Let's do it again. Want to see me do it again? Shiver me himbos. I wish I could just right click on them over here and then just have them automatically get put into my slots. You want to put what in your slots? Rhino crystals are good. What do they even do? Want to see me walk in a circle? Want to see me do it again? All this on your YouTube really enjoyed the look of it, but I have questions. Are there various different heroes or is just the one at the moment? Um, there's multiple heroes you can be. As far as I know, there's three. There could be more. I know of a rogue and I know of a necromancer. So we get materials when we walk through things, too, which is important to note. Oh, neat. So we started with the basic warrior set. Which is nice. We got an early lantern, which is also nice. Loop of the Necromancer. Just gonna maybe make a mountain. Didn't have a mountain. I had a newsroom. A camera. Battlefield. Go for a blood path. I said we just make the battlefields like we did before where we sprinkle... We do a little tinkle sprinkle of the chests at the beginning.
Crystal sounds like time move faster, but you don't... So you don't do any regen tile. It would be good near it. You know, I see that you said words. And I read those words, but... What are you missing out on here? A ring. Magic damage counter. Plus five and evasion plus four. Go to bed now. See you, Zach. You don't move faster by the crystal, so if you were on a regen spot, it would regen faster. If I was fighting something there. Enemies would spawn faster, though, if I was there. Right? One pro tip, nine months. Yo, how are you, Huts? I'm feeling pretty good. A long day, but a good one. Vampirism? You son of a bitch! What if we went for, like, a different build this time, though? Bing, ding, 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 ding. People say crystals and meadows were nice. Mimic early on, and we got loaded. What do we want? Vampirism or vampirism? You son of a bitch! How do I say no? Damage to all build where you kill everything before your target. You don't get very much damage to all, though. Is the problem there. You know, we could place a mountain. That would be fine. And then just Oblivion that camp. I'm not going for the boss. If I was going for the boss, I'd probably save the Oblivions to get rid of the Lich Castle things. And I would build around my camp. We ain't doing that, are we? No, we ain't. Vamp ring again. Back speed down, but gives me regen instead. Nice damage to all build you have going on. Seven damage to all. Right now, it's okay. It won't be okay in like a loop. Get rid of my damage to all for vampirism. I can't not do a vamp play, man. Why does it seem like it's the best? How do you get your game to go so fast? Well, there's a times two multiplier here on the top, but you can also set the game speed in the, uh, the options, the variables file in the game. RNG is saying it's the best because it is the best. Can we go for damage to all? He ain't doing shit to the skeleton. Attack speed plus. Do 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 do
Toucan Sam's Fruitless Adventure. I don't think that's what I'm playing. Lanterns would be nice right now. Well, there goes all of our damage to all. Maybe the play is just put the higher number on every time and stop caring about anything else. Go. Just stop looking at any of the numbers. Every time I try to go for a build, I end up having a horrible run. I think go for horrible builds. I'm gonna place that there, probably. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Who made butts put the hat on? A treasury? Road length down? Bacon? What are we having for breakfast? We're having a bacon? Too many beacons is not a good idea, but... It's 19, I think. Another lantern pog. Higher number. Vampirism. We have not gotten very many battlefields. Did we get another battlefield, please? Vamp? No idea what's going on, but we vibin'. It's called Loop Hero. We do loops, we put on equipment, and we place these meadows and rocks strategically to have happiness happen upon us. Tax speed plus. Nice. There we go. Not sure if you saw it uh, or, or not, but the Chrono Crystals doubled the per day effects so you can either increase the spawn rate of enemies or get more regen per day from meadows. Because of the meadows heal me per day, you're saying it's a trade-off to say, do we want to heal more and have more enemies? This game is all about the trade-off, it seems like. Every positive effect also comes the negative effect. I mean, the only way you can advance the game is by putting down enemies to fight. Ave Sturk. Here one sub. What's up? That's a higher number. That's a higher number. That's a higher number. That's a good one. Trade-off goes with equipment also. Oblivion. Good to see, because I'm going to place down some rocks. Goodbye. Probably could have handled a goblin thing there, but... <laughs> Another Oblivion. Here I am with a higher number, and I don't want to get rid of it because of the vampirism! I have a problem. Another treasury. At what point in time do we have too many treasuries? Beacon, go. Attack. It's my attack beacon. 
You've eaten a skelly boy yet? No. I don't know what loop level I gotta get to, but it's something higher than seven. You can oblivion in the middle of the mountain, question mark? Yeah. I'm gonna consider going for the final boss. I should probably consider not oblivioning it, though. But I can't really save up a bunch of shit for the final boss. If You know, it's like, it's gonna kick the oblivion out. If I'm trying to get to a higher loop level, it's gonna be wasted anyways. For dying. Wanna see me, uh... Oblivion in the middle of the mountain. Wow, we got all that stuff back. Amazing. Kibu Vimo tier one sub. I wonder if I lost the 120 max health that the mountain give me by removing that and then I got it back or if I got a, an extra 120. Chrono Crystals, it only hits adjacent, so you get to choose what it hits. <laughs> Goodbye, Oblivion. No, I already used the Oblivion, right? Goodbye, Treasure. There's my second battlefield, finally. I want a blood path. Fuck it. Yeah, world lent down. What is this? Damage to all, magic damage, defense five. Counter 16. What type of game is this? Loop Hero. More like Poop Hero. This is Thembo Robert. I made a video on my main channel where I tried it out for the first time, so I would suggest checking that out, I guess. Better shield for sure. And now they are in. Unlocked that treasury. We don't need any more bacon. Wait, you have a YouTube channel? Sorry, did I say YouTube channel? I meant OnlyFans. You're right. My bad. We want to stack up more Blooming Meadows, probably for the heals. Every day, three from the Blooming Meadows. Health. All adds up. Boots Helm for another character? Uh, I think it's for this character, but not this expedition, maybe. Possibly yeah, that I unlocked that by building buildings back at the home base. I don't know. I don't flipping know, okay? Is that what you want to hear? I don't know. What do you want from me? Are you also struggling to find games that are fun? I actually have a surplus of games that are fun right now. How much does this game cost? I think it was 15 bucks, but it's on sale 15% off right now for the next two days. We got our first book of memories. We're getting memory fragments every time we kick out one of these bottom things. And ten of them form a whole book. There's our blood pass, blood clot. I'm thinking if we spent a lot of time here, by the time that we ended up getting actually to the other enemies, a day's gonna have passed, we'll have healed up, and it won't be a big deal. 
Neo Catalyst, five gifted subs to Afro Thunder Starfruit, probably nobody. V three hundred XL and Gluttony. Thank you for that. Appreciate you. Have you heard of Rivetta, or are you interested in it at all? If you have it, um, it's not Rivetta, is it? It's uh, what's it called? Revita. Revita. Yeah, I bought it. So yes, I am. It reminds me if. At first glance, at least, to um, Flint Hook. But he had a Taylor gifting five subs now to Yak Dan, Dark Crest, Torque, Stormy, and Lix Act. What are you guys going for? Like a second uh, Steam Hype Train, I mean? Steam Train. Turn this Hype Train into a Steam Train. I yeah, see the day's already passed. We're back at the full health. The Blood Path was worth it, I think. That is a spicy suit. We want evasion and regen or vamp or attack speed evasion. How about that one? Nine, what is this? Regen, magic damage or attack speed? You like hype trains? Name every train. Sub duty. We just two shot at a gargoyle, which is pretty dope. This is an even better sword. Oh yeah, that's even better. We're spanking it now. 36 plus attack speed. And regen? Yo. Look at how fast I'm spitting out the damage. One for you, and you, and you, and you, and don't forget about you, and you, and you, and you. What do we got? Magic damage plus. Let's try it. Who's weak to magic damage? Who in chat knows this answer? It's an 11 axe. I'm keeping regen 3. 3 per second is pretty big. Hey, hu hey, where's my huts go boom? That's there. Pretty neutral, which is honestly nice for today, so. Hi, Robson. See ya. Hope you feel better. Hey, how are you? I'm feeling great. Myself. Battlefield. How about an extra long blood path? The bloodiest path you've ever pathed in your bloody path life. Keep it low key for now. Save up for road lanterns or treasure. We gotta be really, really close to spawning another goblin camp. So maybe I should not go heavy on the rocks. I really wish there was a rock counter. Maybe there is, and I just don't see it. How many rocks count and, and mountains do I have for goblins? Let's say up there. Is that what that is? No, that's 30 of the small pieces and 29 of the big ones. Pretty good. We've had a pretty good run so far. We could honestly leave right now and build a, at least a building. But uh, we're doing so well, so... Oh, the Mimic. Another Mimic. It's full of lies. Two slimes. Road Lantern. Roadhouse. Not sure we're going to be able to fill out this without summoning the boss, to be honest. Because we were almost there. Might have to wait for an Oblivion. Alexa, what's up? Loopy Poggin. You, uh, you vibe in this game, Alexa, or no? Boss bar. Yeah, the boss bar is like, oof. Loop level 10, though. I mean, this is, what, as far as we've gotten so far in our whatever 10 loops that we've done? It's so good. It's in Revita. On my life right now. Yep, someone was just asking about Revita. 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 Um, call me crazy. 
But what if I got rid of one of these vampire mansions? They they hella annoying right now. We could loop even further if it wasn't for those pieces of crap. Or I could get rid of a goblin castle that's bound to spot that to, to, to pop up, but no, I'm gonna do that. Screw that guy. Nobody likes vampires anyways. Stick with the meadows. Skeletons suck. Yeah, we got some good magic damage right now, though. Attack speed plus. Or magic damage. I just talked about my magic damage. Help. <laughs> what are you? Attack speed plus. Counter plus. We'll lose out on the regen. Let's try it. I mean, I recommend you'll enjoy it when you check it out. It's if Neon Abyss was good. It looks to me like Flint Hook. Did you ever play a Flint Hook, Alexa? I can't say it is or is not because I have not played it yet, but. Yo, are we gonna sneak that out? Oh man, sneaky, sneaky, but dang it, the Road Lantern! I love those. I hated Flint Hook. You hated Flint Hook? I loved Flint Hook. I was all about Flint Hook. I want to go back and play Flint Hook. You know what? Cancel the stream. We're going to play Flint Hook. Speed doesn't look like he swing at all. He's too fast. He's got no backswing. It's just all forward. He just flicks. Send the flick at a wrist. Should I have stopped? Should we stop now at loop 11? Should we summon the boss? I don't know. It looks like a pretty good build, you guys. We should probably summon the boss if we can get back with near full health. I gotta slow this boy down. My goodness. Let's see here. Attack speed plus. But the 36 on this one is really what's doing it for us. Attack speed build. And we have a little bit of vampirism on the top of it. So we're, we're getting fours back of health. But we're getting more damage now than we have been. Much more classic Isaac style roguelike instead of the level system of Flint Hook. What I know you'll love is Revita has ascension levels and a lot of them like 20 plus tons of replayability for early access. Cool. It's on my list to check out. It's, it's towards the top. Look at all these road lanterns. We're just going to let go to waste. I'm not sure we're going to get back with full health, you guys. I'm not sure we're going to survive at all. For that matter, we just spawned a heckin' ton of enemies up here. And we're dying right now. We're currently dying. We're in the process of, of being dead. Skeletons hit so hard. 89 per hit. We might as well just run right now. I think we should run right now. We were like full health, full health, full health, full health, full health. Hit a level 11. It's just like, you're dead. And it's over. Look at all these enemies. We got one skeleton. We got two rat wolves. One rat wolf. One rat wolf. Uh, mind you, two rat wolves with a vampire. One rat wolf with a vampire. One rat wolf. One rat wolf. Three rat wolves. Sugar, we're going down swinging. I gotta go. Lost a third of our stuff, but... What happens? And I don't have enough to build almost anything. Got a gym. <sighs> Just rip some weights. I'm put my gym here, and then I'm gonna put my my farm there. Hmm. So that's how it works. Instead of remembering something, you can just learn it again. That's a nice trick. There's no ill intent. Without education, our world would be left to the savages. You too could learn a few things, though. We could all get together and share our useful knowledge and skills. Nah. <laughs> He's the one that, like spent all the money to make the gym. He's like. Pfft. Learning's for nerds. I already know what all I need to. Leave learning to the kids. To the Tims. Sorry, you guys want to see your face? Your first lesson, learn to like learning. That would make life easier for both of us. He's got served. Herbalist. I couldn't afford the herbalist. I can afford the herbalist. I could afford the herbalist if I wanted the herbalist. 
And I think I'm gonna go ahead and build the herbalist. Do I get anything for building and connecting these other places? These are things I don't know. It's a miracle that we could find some fertile soil and that we were able to save some seeds of precious healing herbs. I wanna see all them wrinkles. But the real miracle is that all these healing poultices and bombs still have any effect. We've already lost many people because of the cataclysm. It would be nice not to lose more to disease. And these potions can also help you take a bottle or two on your trip and your chances of getting back unharmed will be much higher. That chin. I can build the refuge. Can I? I can build the farm. Wait, how are we, like, gaining stuff? There's our farm. Okay, I guess we're just gonna start building and building and building and building. I guess we're getting things back when we build them. And you notice how strangely this oblivion affects our senses. Hunger, for example. You can stop eating for days and you still... F you still won't be hungry. This, of course, does not mean that you should stop eating altogether. The farmer promises that he'll be able to grow some stable crops, but it will take some time. It will be interesting to see what he can grow without sunlight. You can call me Master Backseat. Master Exploder. Cemetery. Passing through the cemetery on expeditions grants you a memory fragment can resurrect the hero after an upgrade. Ooh. Ooh. You know. All right. I'm calling it. I'm calling this game, at least. We're gonna move on to uh, one more game. So thank you guys on YouTube for watching, and I hope you tune in for the next one. Bye!